So I'm gonna give you um, a haul of everything we got. Hey. Let me give you a haul from Walmart. So I'm gonna start with this bag first. So, like many of you know, like I said, I homeschool her. Give me one second, y'all. So I homeschool her. So this, so last year we did not do a bulletin board, but this year we are. And we're gonna do a bulletin board. Guys, this only costed $5 at Walmart, so I, I picked it up. You, but y'all know them five tens, you know, they add up, okay? But um, I got this, and that's everything that it comes with in the bag, if you can see it. All right, so yeah. So I got that bulletin board set. Um, <clears throat> I got this classroom decorative kit because in the classroom, the walls are blank. In the classroom, the walls are blank. And there was like nothing to kind of keep her going. So it's all this on the back, if you guys can see it. It says sturdy paper accents, so yeah. Also, I got myself an adult coloring book. Pens. I got us some canvases. On my last video, I told you guys that, um, my last video, I told you guys that me and the bed, y'all, if this lighting sucks, I think I might turn off this ring light. Um, let me see what happens if I turn it off. Oh, you can't, you really can't see me. Okay, so I gotta leave it on. But these canvases, um, panels, they're canvas panels. And I told you guys that me and the bed, we do um, mommy, daughter, paint, so, I don't know what we're gonna paint this time, but I just went ahead and I got us some. They were only like three dollars, three or so dollars like that. And then I got some tape. <laughs> I got some tape. Um, that's in that bag. My husband be like, oh, where the tape at? So, honey, I got us some tape. So I put that stuff back in the bag. That was that bag. And I am going to do a, hold on real quick, cause I'm talking. And I'm going to do a decorate with me for um, next month. You guys can see a decorate with me for school for Nevada. And that what I told you I wanna make a sanctuary, but then I thought about it. I'm not gonna make it a sanctuary. That's actually gonna be her sanctuary where she can go to school at since I'm still gonna be working and I just find me somewhere else, you know, to make my own sanctuary. We're moving anyways, but still, I still wanna decorate for her for school until we get ready to move, okay? So that's that bag. Now, this bag, I got this. Um, sign says first day of school, flip it, last day of school. I'm so glad I found this because I have been making like on the bulletin boards or like those um, erase boards, I would do like first day of school and then the end of school, I just take her a picture on the last day of school. I don't even think I took her a picture this year uh, for last day, but I did take her a picture this year for first day of school. And I just thought I would do this it's real nice. Her teacher is gonna be me, duh. <laughs> also, I got me a planner. Um, this one, I think starts, yeah, this one starts in July. My planner that I had for last year for her, for school, um, it was similar to this. And I like the fact that it starts in July and then it ends, I think in like May or it ends in June. The one upstairs also ends in June because this is perfect for me for school. This is how I keep up with what we have done. So if somebody 
ain't trying to call child services talking about I ain't letting my daughter get her education. They will see everything that we do in our planners and everything like it's just I keep it. This is how I keep her keep me accountable for what she did, okay? Then I got Nevaeh a coloring book. This is just something as of right now. It was 98 cents, so why not? And coloring crayons, 120 crayons, y'all. If I tell y'all who this box for, please don't judge me. It's for me. It's for me. And guess what it includes? The sharpener. Y'all, who remember the crayon sharpeners growing up? I think I just told my age, but if I did, oh well, I still look fabulous. But still, so I bought that for myself. <laughs> I also bought these for myself. The 100 different colors. I bought these for myself for my coloring book. Yes, I did. And I got us some staples. I don't know if we needed staples, but I just went ahead and bought some more staples for this year because we do have a, um, a stapler. Now, this bag. Yeah, I have, after this, I have two more bags. <laughs> I got scissors. And you're probably thinking like you homeschool, you don't need those supplies. But let me tell y'all something. This girl lose scissors every week. No matter how many times I ask for scissors, she don't know where they at. So I have to go buy them. And they, oh my, it looks so dark in here. Turn on that light right there too, please. It still look dark, do this one. Yeah, my house is just dark. Okay, there we go, there we go. Um, and you could close those curtains because I don't want nobody looking in here with my light on. All right, so scissors. I got her some big girl scissors this year instead of little baby ones. Her colored pencils, don't judge me because I buy colored pencils for her and they end up breaking and then I have to give her mine. So this year I was smart and said I would just buy her the cheap color pencils because if she break them, at least they were only 50 cents. What happened? Ace. Oh, uh, just go ahead and put her in the camera there. Then I got us this little painting thing. I think it's 10. It's 10 coming up. Y'all. I thought it was 10 plates. I'm so dumb. I'm not dumb. But I thought it was 10 plates that come in here. It's 10 of these. I gotta go get another one. But I got this for our um, painting. And I actually love to paint. I, I'm not an artist. But painting and coloring is like so therapeutic to me. So. I like doing that. My mom said I used to do it a lot as a kid. And I, I can definitely say I probably did because I do love painting and coloring, but I can't draw to save my life. I cannot, but I can paint for you and I can color for you. I know how to do that and I know how to blend. And then I got her another colored pencil. So she got two colored pencils. I got her the markers. Got her the markers. And for her, I went the um, the crazy, the crazy art way because she's just not gonna be wasting my money, okay? So I got these. I got her some erasers. Now I bought these pencils, these little um, cheap pencils. However, the erasers on them I do not like. Put him in his kennel for doing that. Put him in his kennel. Go in your kennel. So the erasers, erasers on pencils, I don't like anyways. I always like these big ones because 
I just feel like they erase more. Let me know down in the comments if you know you agree or not. I got her another eraser. And then I bought these little post-it notes. So I have a whole thing of post-its upstairs for me, but they're like this size. I needed these little ones so I can like color code in books and like color code in her school books as well. So I needed these little bitty ones because they're gonna come in handy. So that's why I bought these. Technically right now, kids don't need this. I mean, if, they, if they're if they probably like in middle school, but Nevada's still in elementary. So I have got some of these. School glue. Highlighters, which she actually does use. She actually does use highlighters, especially when she is reading. Um, we're at the point now, if I make her, she has to go back and highlight like her answers of where she found her answer at. So I can understand how she got the answer that she got, uh, especially with comprehension reading. Like, so say for instance, it asks her like, what's the main idea? So she'll go and she'll highlight it. And then I can go back and I can look and see, okay, now I see why you got this answer. So let me explain to you why it's right. Or let me explain to you why it was wrong. So she is highlighter, which is actually a good study tip for anybody who's in college. I use that tip for myself growing up. My mom taught me that and I'm teaching it to Nevada. So color crayons. So I bought these because she broke half of hers already. So I went and bought some more. Y'all, they were only $1.17, which is actually pretty good right now. Another set of pencils. Her first official calculator. I had one of those little, like the little cheap 50 cent calculators that I was having her do her schoolwork on. So I went and got one of these, you know, it's not a scientific, oh it is, it's a scientific calculator. I, I still have my scientific calculator since I was in high school. I still have that calculator. I am not giving that to her because I'm going back to school myself and I'm gonna need my calculator. So I went and bought her own scientific calculator which I honestly hope she appreciates because I love math and I love calculators. I can't give her mine. And then a ruler, which I think we have plenty of rulers, don't we? Mm -hmm. Actually, I think we have plenty, but I still bought it. It was 50 cent. And then another glue stick. So that's that bag. Y'all, this video is already at 14, but this is just for one child. Oh, and her school supplies, if I didn't buy everything extra, so I, I calculated up her school supplies first before I went and did everything extra, it actually came up to be like 50 something dollars. The extra other 50 was on me. So, just for one child and she's homeschooling, okay? Then, really Nevada. My next bag, I got her this. It was 97 cents. Now, I see all the new stuff, you know, with the, oh, the little pouches and stuff. Why? Just go ahead and get them children a crayon box. I got uh, some index cards. I actually labeled the index cards, so I got the index card. We have a label maker and whatever index cards I make, I just label it. I got this for the index cards holder, which actually came in handy when I saw it because I definitely need to put some other index cards that I made in here. And it does close and fit. And I might go back and buy another one. We, I like to do end up cards like a quick quiz, real quick, like a quick quiz. Paper, 
And I think, oh, these are the college rule paper. It's, it's fine. Not what I wanted. I don't even think they sell the other ones anymore, if I'm not mistaken, but paper. And she uses paper for, I need her to start showing me like how she get answers with math, not just depending on her calculator. So she would use that paper, honestly, for math, like math problems or whatever. I got composition books. We do still have composition books from last year. And these are the wide rule ones. So composition books. And this year with composition books, we are using them for writing prompts. Um, when I was looking up like fourth grade curriculums, she's gonna be doing a lot more writing this year than she did last year. And I felt like last year for a third grader, she did a lot of writing. This year we're writing essays so yeah we are so this and y'all she can write a good two three paragraphs but this year we're doing like essays not so when i say essays i'm not like high school or you know middle school essays but we're doing like Hmm. persuasive essays um we did that last year before she left out of school a persuasive essay uh and i think it was a informative essay and i think there's another one i think there's like three essays so but this year they're gonna be regular they're not gonna be to test out they're gonna be regular essays and for her little cell i got her this i thought this was so cute I did not go with the 35 cents. Um, I should have, but I just thought it was so cute. If I need more um, of these, I'll buy them. These can be like, just for her to, I don't, whatever she wants to do with this, this is what that's gonna be. So that's that. my last bag and it's not much in here I got, I got this i'm gonna decorate this or something um this is gonna be for her school books don't we have one of these already no um, no no yes we do i think you're using it for your room you use it in your room yes. yeah okay it's little. huh it's little. it's little okay so i got this this is where we're gonna put all her school books instead of somebody throwing her books on the floor like she always do here we go i'm gonna put them in here so she'll have like all her books that we're gonna need i mean i might have to go get another one because i don't think the i don't think all her school books is gonna fit in here but i might have to go get another one and blue blue i got two things of blue this year i'm taking art very seriously last year i didn't take it too seriously um her art was literally just like go find something on youtube to draw so this year we're gonna do something different bring me that right there please can you bring me that yeah and i have a bulletin so if you if you were wondering how I'm gonna put up my oh god if you were wondering how I'm gonna put up my the other teacher stuff is this a bulletin which I am going to literally um, I think it comes with the calendar already in it but I'm gonna use this one as a calendar I think that one is like more if we were preschooling and we're not um, I still might put it up because it's still like kids need colors like the primary colors and stuff like that so yeah i got this and like i said i am going to do a like a it's it's gonna be a mental mental list minimalist mental minimalist memo a list memo a list y'all I hate when I be talking so much. Here 
Hey, what are you talking about? So it's gonna be a minimalist. <laughs> it's gonna be a simple decorate for me with in her classroom because you, you know, y'all know. So yeah. So again, I wanna thank you guys so much for watching today's video. This was my Walmart haul for her for school for this upcoming school year, 2021-2022, homeschool for fourth grade. And like I said, I have to do another haul, but that's gonna be in a separate video of what books I got for her this year. I could not find everything at Barnes and Noble like I wanted to, rude, rude. I could not find everything like I wanted to at Barnes and Noble like I wanted to, so yeah. Peace, y'all. Peace. Oh, and if y'all see me with the same clothes on in my other, in, in another video, it's gonna be me going to get half of this stuff. Don't come for me. We just filming all at one time. So yeah. All right, y'all. Peace.